Hi, welcome to Ramesh Soft Video Tutorial. In this video tutorial, we'll talk about the importance of main method. So, so the signature, the syntax of main method is public, static, void main, string array, args. So, why this main method is public? Why this static and why main method is contains void and why it contains a string or arcs, right? Now, see here, uh, let me explain something, right? So, every dot Java file is going to be converted as a dot class file. So, who is going to do this operation? So, meanwhile, one person, one software is the compiler. So compiler converts our dot java file to dot class file which contains bytecode and uh, when we are trying to execute this program so using some interpreters interpreters so jvm when we try to execute this program jvm jvm is going to look uh, in this dot class file it's going to look for uh, a method called main method that is java software itself they configured in such a way that if you want to execute the program JVM always looks for main method so if main method is there then only JVM can able to execute the program otherwise uh, we will get the exception that uh, no such method exception will get the exception that is JVM looks for main method when we are executing the program in our class file if the main method is not there we will get the exception now now see here why this main method is public so to access anywhere we declare the they declare the method as a public that is to access outside the class so jvm can access anywhere this method anywhere this method and uh, why this method as a static means um, without existing object uh, we can call it and uh, in Java, main method has to be called first. Hence, the Java interpreter calls main method first. Hence, main method declares a static. So, static method are going to be executed without creating object term. That's why they declare this method as a static. Right? Next one. So, void means um, void is a keyword. It simply returns nothing. So, once execution is done, it won't return anything. So, now main. Main is a method jvm always looks main method to execute the program with a string array args now what is this string array args right so this args can be anything any name here instead of args you can give it uh, anything anything you can give it anything anything you can give it like test or anything so by using this parameter so main method expect one parameter the string array some args so with this um, string array we can execute uh, command line arguments we can pass command line argument so in coming videos we'll talk what is command line arguments in detail as a part of whoops concepts now whenever we are executing the program our jvm is always going to look for a main method with the following method signature public static void main string array args now let me show some other valid uh, main method syntaxes now see here so let me show it on the eclipse so now see here let me create one program so i'm taking class as a main test now see here so let me write the main this is valid one valid this is valid no problem at all but uh, we cannot run this program see here right click run as so there is no option called java application now let me write the main method control space now see here now we, we are able to run this program now right click run as java application right now see here this is a valid syntax and if you want you can represent the main method in other ways as well so we have a concept called var args method so this is also valid so internally this uh, string dot 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 is behaves like a one dimensional array of type string so this is also valid and uh, if you want we can write uh, in this way as well so if we want uh, we can write uh, in this way as well it is also valid now if you want uh, we can take in this way as well this is also a valid syntax yes so these are different ways of representing main method now 
see here what I'm doing. The question they'll ask can we overload main method? Yes, we can overload the main method. Yes, we can overload the main method. Now see here. So SYSO of main with the string array. Main with the string array. Let me write one more method. Let me write one more method. Now I am writing int array. Now main with the int array. Let me write one more method. Now I am writing float. Now main with the float. Main with float. So I am not writing the right type. Normal, normal. I am taking or else you are interested. How you want, you can take it. Now see here. If I run this program, so here what is overloading method overloading same method name with the different parameters so it is method overloading yes it is method overloading so when we execute this program always jvm is going to execute automatically this main method with the string array args see here let me run it right click run as java application now see here main with the string main with the stringer is executed or not yes this method is executed that is jvm is always going to look public static void main method with the string array args now who is the responsible to call this main with the into test and main with the float test being a programmer we are the responsible to call it now see how i am calling this method now i am calling main by passing 123 integer as a input and i am calling main bus passing 12.45 f now let me run it right click run as java application now see the output main with the enter that means what i want to let you know is when we are having main method with the different parameters that is overloading main method is there jvm is always going to execute main with the string arrays the other methods um, programmer is the responsible to call it so this is about uh, main method overloading and uh, we can inherit main method just uh, let me show an example so how we can inheritance is possible for main method or not now let me take one example so i'm taking so let me take class test main now let me write this method here now class test let me write the method here now see here if i run this program what is happening run as so we know already so two main methods are there right which one you want to execute it like this now see here what i'm doing now i am not taking this one and extends what is that test main now let me run this program right click run as why because we know that in a java source file structure the we can have multiple classes when we are having multiple classes we need to declare that is optional if you want we can declare one class as a public so the class which we declare as the public, this public class name and this file name should be same. Otherwise, we will get compile time error. Yes. Now what I'm doing, just observe here. So let me take a control V. Now, now just observe here what I'm doing. extends now remove this main method from this class now extends extends main test now let me take now see here let me create object of this test main test main test is equal to new test main now on this uh, already it is there okay 
so on this uh, on this test one let me call test one dot my method I have observed so here I am passing new string array close it now here I am passing java now here I am passing selenium now see here so inheritance is possible or not yes so we can inherit the main method we can inherit the main method right click run as java application so we can overload main method and we can inherit main method and next they'll ask the question in this way in the interview can we override main method no we cannot override the main method because main method is uh, static so we cannot override the static method right so let me write main method here it seems like uh, overriding but not overriding so if the concept is called what method hiding now see here when i try to write override annotation we are going to get what compile time error now if i remove this static and static now see here now this is we can say is what it is overriding that is we cannot override the static methods but we can override non-static method so we cannot override our main method default main method public static void main because this main method is of type what static okay so thanks for watching the videos thank you so much have a good day